Alrighty. Um. That was exhausting. Well, <clears throat> I have, uh, made some posts. Hold on, I think I just need to turn my volume down. Uh. I've made some posts about um, carries, but I wanted this video to be mainly about Kalari. I guess it could be. Um, eh. Okay, so I just played a game with Kalari, and. Uh, it was a disaster from the start. Though, I haven't played her since... I played, like, I want to say a handful of games at best. Um, with her after the um, the new change to her. The new kit, basically. Um, I played her when she first started out. And I absolutely hated her. Um, I thought she could be used effectively. I seen it. But I didn't think that she was, she was just for me. Like, as soon as I seen her, I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be badass. And then I was like, nah, oh, crap. <clears throat> Not my style. So I put her down after one game. And then um, I picked her back up after the new um, change to her, the new kit, where she, like, has the global ultimate and all that. And I was like, oh, wow, I actually really like her now. And so I played her and won by a landslide. Um, but, okay, so Sparrow and I don't even remember who, but they're attacking the middle lane. Now I dipped into the right jungle. This is like 15, 20 seconds in the game. I see that Sparrow and whoever else are attacking the right, uh, the middle lane, like, the right at the edge of our tower, and, um, Muriel and somebody else were there, so I decide I'm gonna go run around and strike, uh, Sparrow from behind and get an easy kill right off the bat, and she turns around and kills me in, like, two seconds flat. I was so sad. I'm like, what happened? She didn't see me. I got the drop on her, got the um, invisible hit, was striking, was moving around so I could continue to flank her, and yet she puts two arrows in me and I go down. Or maybe three. And then continues to harass our tower. Now, uh, our guys didn't, um, they didn't try to help at all. Um, there were minions that they were shooting. Um, it goes with lack of communication, but I don't have a keyboard, and there's no voice chat, so <clears throat> kind of is what it is, I guess. But um, that was kind of how the match seemed to go. Um, I would ultimate in on somebody and <laughs> they'd wreck me. I would try and hit somebody from behind, it, they'd get wrecked. Uh, I've got damage in the deck, it's not like I don't. I've even got armor piercing, I'm not stupid. Um, I wasn't picking my battles wrong, I was picking battles that should have been in Kalari's favor. People who were low on health, but I'd strike them, and it seemed like nothing. And I don't know. There's a lot of things that you guys are doing right. Um, constantly trying the rebounces and the reworks and all of that stuff. And um, what have you. But there's a lot that you're doing wrong. 
Jones' personal opinion, but I've seen the forums. I think a lot of people agree. Um, first off, you're trying to do three groups. Rangers, fighters, and casters. You're trying to do three groups and balance the entire game based on three groups when you have so much uh, depth, depth and personality to all the characters. Uh, give you a good example of one character you ju hmm. Excuse me. just broke the hell out of. Twin Blast. Now, I've never played Twin Blast. I just don't. Not my thing, for some reason. Won't deny he's a hell of a character, though. And I do enjoy him being in the game. And you just nerfed him to the ground with your last stuff. It, or why, I don't know. First he's overpowered. First he's at a good spot. Good spot. Then he's overpowered. Dramatically. And then he's underpowered. So much so that nobody will play him now. And it's not, oh, well, you guys just need to get used to the changes. Eh. N no. No. I was saying that after the Kalari kit got reworked. Let's just get used to the changes. I think things are in a good spot where they're at right now. Let's get used to the changes. I can't say that now. I can't. I can no longer defend these um, decisions. I think it needs to be treated like a fighter in the sense of balancing. I think I like a fighting game. I should say, uh, fighting genre. I think that every character needs to be balanced separately. Every character needs to be looked at and seen what, how do, how does Epic want this character to be? Twin Blast with speed. He needed to be low health, uh, low health, advanced maneuverability, advanced speed, medium damage, low defense. Now he's practically low everything. I, I don't see anybody shooting fast with him anymore. Um, granted, the couple I've seen recently weren't hitting their speed buff before they would uh, pop their ultimate, but still, it's ridiculous. Um, I think characters need to be balanced separately as opposed to trying to balance everything as a group and say okay rangers as a whole need to scale like this no no then first off not all rangers are carries or are we calling all rangers carries and then how can we have a melee carry rangers and carries are not the same thing i mean uh, just because something has a strong auto attack does not mean it can't I mean, there's so much, so much, like, I don't know, it's, it's, it needs to be balanced a hell of a lot better than it's being balanced in the last couple of patches, and I think it might be being rushed too fast, you're trying to m meet a deadline that you set that I think was uh, unrealistic. Let's have the game free by whatever date you said. I'm pretty sure it's fast approaching and you guys feel it. And it's being rushed. I think it needs to be slowed down. I don't think it needs to go free right now. I think that's that's a huge problem. Uh, one other issue is the tutorial videos. I never thought they were good at all. Just horrible. I guess maybe you were expecting the community to make their own. Come on, everybody's got a different way they're gonna play them. But ah, your tutorial videos. First of all, they're outdated. The original thirteen need to be scrapped and redone. Uh, and redone. You cannot have a tutorial video though when you continue to rework toolkits. I mean. People have probably gone through and deleted some of their videos by now. Um, 
I left mine. I like to see the progress of the game. And the progress of the game is fine. It's beautiful. It just needs to be being had um, smoother, handled better, not so rushed. These balances are starting to come out wonky. Uh, as far as the tutorial videos, they need to be redone. They need to have more information, and there needs to be like advanced tutorials, tutorials, or something where it's like, okay, here's how the character is supposed to be played. Kalari. For the first three minutes, you're gonna want to run into the jungle and you know get some minions. I was doing more damage against minions with Kalari than I do with other characters that should have like does she start out with a lot of attack if so why didn't I see that against the sparrow that I hit it was like hitting a rock with a with a butter knife is what it felt like when I seen that health bar not flinch I was like <sighs> it was terrible it was terrible 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 um Obviously, you know, you guys say, for instance, your go-to is, ah, oh, energy damage and cooldown reduction. What in the hell do you need cooldown reduction except for Greystone? And it, because it's ridiculous with his stuff. Oh, speaking of ridiculous, why is Kalari's ultimate so long of a cooldown? That is, that's, that's ridiculous. Because she can be invisible all the time? Oh, the grand can't do anything while she's invisible takes her three quarters she's basically a carry the way the way she scales she's a carry it was late game before I was even able to kill anything and then not effectively why because I'm getting owned by the Fae why am I getting owned by the Fae because she can build da uh, damage and freaking defense and utility it was ridiculous. You put on a Hydra Burster, a Snake Vine Mesh. Uh, what's the other one? The other defense attack. How's my Fae built? Yep, okay. There you go. Put on that. You're freaking insane. Damage, 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 damage. Yeah, see? Imagine a Kalari hitting me with all this. It's insane. And she's scaling. Ah! She's supposed to be a support. Then make her scale as a support. She's still doing too much damage. She has too much defense. She should have high mana. And utility. I'll also while I'm at it since I'm saying things that suck with the characters and I really hate to be tearing this game down but it's it's high time her ultimate is a piece of shit it's terrible it's terrible I thought it was going to be good it does mediocre damage it doesn't ki I, I'm, I wish that it would hold Whoever it grabs, I wish it would hold them in place for a second, a second and a half. Even another half a second. Hold them in place. That's that's what I want. Also, it takes too long to um, grab something. It should be a little faster. But, uh, yeah, just, I mean, there needs to be advanced tutorials. It's, the, you know, it could be the, you guys are putting out great videos. Put out one for each character doesn't even take that long you're just like oh look Kalari supposed to be in the jungle for a few minutes here's how she's gonna scale um, cuz right now I don't even get how scaling is working um, you know and I don't think a lot of people are getting how scaling is working especially I know card scales so what it says on the card not not necessarily for every character and I don't think people get that. Um, that's not a solid number. Uh, when it says it scales, that means it scales up and down and all around. <clears throat> if 
fighters. Um, fighters are good. Fighters are in a good place. Um, and there's a fighter carry, or a melee carry. Um, people are starting to use him more effectively, and every time I see him, he's so overpowered. <clears throat> Grux. Grux is a monster. Yeah, melees are in a good spot. Carrie's not in a good spot. But a caster is in a fucking great spot. Especially the casters that we have in. Let's look at Muriel. Muriel, defense, defense and attack, defense and regen and attack. Uh, defense, nope, lifesteal. Uh, lots of utility, lots of defense, lots of attack everywhere. Uh, it's just, I mean, I know these characters are supposed to have good stuff, but I'm not trying to take that away from them. I don't want the cards nerfed or changed or anything like that. I just want some rebalancing on the characters. Every character, just every single character, I think, needs rebalanced. I think they need rebalanced so that, like, Chimera should have next to no defense. He should have to build all his defense. I mean, it's just... Maybe it's just personal opinion. But the characters should not be balanced as in sets. Because not all, not all characters are created equal. Because that gives you, like... You're going to make some awesome characters that are going to have some kits that are fucking outstanding. You already do um, have that. But, uh, you know, you're changing kits when you should be changing stats. You know, if, if... <sighs> just... I don't know. I just had a really terrible game. And it, it wasn't me. I did my best. I mean, I... Uh, not the best Kalari I haven't played her in a while, so yeah, it was rusty, but <sighs> I don't know. It's just sad to me. The state of the characters right now. And things. It's it's pretty sad. Um and it's become a melee centric game because nobody wants to play anything else. And why would you? When you can play some of the best characters. You can play a melee or you can play a caster. And you're good. You're golden. You can sit back and live three times as long as if you play a, a ranger. With quotes. Or the only assassin in the game. Who doesn't seem to assassinate one damn thing. I mean, when that ultimate comes in. Because she has to... She has to commit it should do so much more it should do more damage and you would be like build damage then it does more damage no it doesn't no it doesn't I don't know where you broke it somewhere along the way she's not scaling as much as she needs to be with the cards that she's got yeah that was that was that was pathetic so yeah I think everything should be, every character should be scaled differently. Bring back Twin Blast speed. Keep his damage low. Lower, not. He should be a carry based on how fast he shoots. Because he's shooting 10 times sometimes, depending on how you build him. He's shooting, he's just shooting insanely fast and faster than most other people are able to right out of the gate and I think that's what he should that's what should make him a carry he should stack on so much damage with just shooting fast and he shouldn't scale as much on attack and I, I realize early access blah 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 but let's try and fix what's broken right now um, and maybe postpone it going live 
Uh, oh, and fix your tutorials again. Just I can't say that enough. New people are coming in, and they are going to be so lost. It's it's pathetic. Also, while we're on tutorials, get a damn tutorial for new players. Like a real, actual. I want to see tutorial up here. Maybe a forced tutorial, or the first time you go into solo versus AI. Played with a friend the other day. Uh, no. I actually, he was like, oh, I got the game because I see you're always on, and I want to try it out with you, but I don't ever see you on. And I was like, well, why don't you boot it up right now, and I'll show you some things, because you're definitely going to need some things. He's like, yeah, I only played it once, and I was kind of lost. I was like, I'm sure you were. Boot it up, and we'll see uh, if I can't show you some things, and then I'll definitely add you. We'll start playing. And um, so we go into the solo versus AI. And first off, I, I tu toured his stuff and everything's locked. Everything. And then uh, even characters. And I was like, well, no. I don't think characters should be locked. But you're trying to keep people from playing more advanced characters. You know, you only have one assassin in the game and you're telling me nobody can assassinate until they're level, what, 5, 10, 15? I don't know what it was. It was ridiculous. Even level level 5 is ridiculous. If I want to play an assassin character, why should I be forced to play anybody else? Uh, um, that just, that can't be. Also, you know, I was I was having to explain stuff to him because there's no explanation. Do you think cards that come up are good? Do you know you are trying to play a game and have your people reading cards at the same time? That's that's it's not working. He thought it went by too fast. I thought it went by at an all right speed. You know how the card would pop up and stay, but I, I read faster than most people I know. And then I don't even know how to begin to explain the card system. It would have, uh, God, I think you need to, I don't know if you have a, an actual tutorial, because I only got him to like level four, I think. Profile level four that day and then uh so I don't even, I don't think the um, deck builder was open but there needs to be better handling of, of bringing in new players it's no wonder that new players are failing they're thrown into the game by level three they can already get into PvP and they don't know anything you haven't taught them anything you need to have the standard MOBA tutorial I don't give a damn what you think about it. You need to have the standard mobile tutorial that teaches everybody everything. It has somebody lead them around and say, hey, here's a harvester, here's a lane, here's a tower, here's minions, and here's what they all do. Show them everything step by step, not as they run by it, oh, a card pops up that they may or may not notice. Yeah, I understand it's big, but they're trying to attack, not be attacked, all this stuff. It's nice that you force them into solo, but that's that's not helping. I mean, you can with that AI that you've got, you can fall ass backwards into a win. With solo versus AI, I think, oh yeah, I got this, and you ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. You know how long it was before I realized there was even numbers under the tower? It was like my hundredth game, and my girlfriend was like, uh, "There's numbers under the tower." Why aren't you paying attention to those so you get out from under the tower? It's like, what? It's, I mean, now it's second nature. I see them. It's right there in front of my face. But I had overlooked it for so long. It happens. I don't All right. I think my complaining is done. Yeah. Nothing really more to say. Um, if there's any comments from either Epic or other watchers, 
leave them down below. I'm going to post this in the forum, so I guess you can leave comments there as well. Um, so like, subscribe, and um, I'm looking forward to the future. I really am. I'm not not going to stop playing. I'm just it's definitely not in a good state right now at all. It's it's not. So.